Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to my graphic novel review of The Kents. What's it been, like four years since I've done a graphic novel review on this channel? Shows how much I keep up with things. So The Kents is a graphic novel that I'm not sure if it's considered canon or not, but it definitely can be read in either the post-crisis or rebirth like interpretations of Superman. And what it is, it's, it's a book that takes place back in like the Civil War days with like the Underground Railroad and everything and pretty much shows how the Kent settled Kansas and it's fun because I haven't really gotten into Western comic books. I'm more of a Western movie fan and this was actually a really nice like kind of introduction into like that part of the DC universe that I don't think a lot of people pay enough attention to to be honest. The characters are really good in this book. I really like them. You have the two characters are Nathaniel and Jebediah Kent and you kind of follow these two brothers on their adventures into the frontier and like the people that they meet and they come across and it's just it's really cool and like it's a really great story kind of how these two's lives unfold. It doesn't kind of go around the typical route that I think you might expect it to go down. With the artwork the only like critique that I have is that the inking isn't that great. I think they kind of go over the top on the cross hatching and kind of make it look a little bit muddy and like some of the art just looks off to me like especially with the inking like it just doesn't look that great. But with that being said the penciling itself is really good and so is the colors. I really like it. I believe this is back when they first started using digital coloring. And like I said the story is really good too and like there are some characters and easter eggs that pop up in this story that you kind of wouldn't be expecting and it was nice. And it's nice to kind of put these little things together like okay this is how this happened later on and things like that and it's overall just a really fun story. Overall unless like you're trying to be a completionist and read like every part of the DC Universe or something like that, like with the post-crisis or New 52 or whatever, um, this isn't like required unless like you're trying to read everything. But if you're a Superman fan or you're just a fan of Western books in general, this is honestly a book that is really worth checking out. I liked it way more than I thought I would and yeah, I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's a Superman fan or just a Western fan in general. So that's it for me guys. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.